Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Disciples 2. I'm going to kill this guy because I can and because if I don't he's going to take my city. And really? This might be his most powerful party. So if I deal with it now, I won't have to worry about it later. After he's gotten a few more levels. Plus I get some nice items out of him, even if it is just those healing potions. It was just those healing potions. But that's fine. We can deal with it. And now, what's our gold situation at? 801. Yeah, it is going to take a while before we can get our Draco Lich up and running. Not a big deal, though. In fact, what I should be doing is training another fighter. Just in case. Because remember, we will have to fight the Bone Lord. And since we're, we'll be fighting undead units, they almost all have a death immunity. And most of our attacks are death-based leading to some serious problems potentially so hmm I should train another fighter leave the death dragon in a city somewhere guarded by a lot of other units as well just to make sure that no one can punch through Probably a really good idea. I'll take this city. This is probably a good choice. Actually, the best choice would be my capital, to be honest. But I'll take this one. Get it back from the legions. And actually, maybe hire a rod planter. Perhaps. We'll see. For now, though, 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 we will hire two fighters because we'll be replacing our death dragon. And... We'll, yeah, we're going to be leaving them on the back row temporarily because they're really weak. Try to train them up. Not quite to phantom warriors, I don't think, because that will take way too long. But just until we get... You know what? In fact, we'll hire another fighter. We have to make sure... There we go. And this city should be reasonably well defended. Like this. I would put this other fighter in my party as well, switch him out for the Phantom Warrior temporarily, but that might be a little bit of overkill. In fact, this is probably overkill. But I really want to train these units up. And Brian, Death, and the Phantom Warrior should be able to handle everything anyway. So we'll take on some fairly tough melee based parties. And start to train these fighters. Ah, I can take him out. Even if he's got some... ranged units? Or magic units? We should be able to take them out without any difficulty. Oh, right, there's a thief in my way. Whoops. That took all my movement points. Come on. Battles are supposed to take half your movement points, not every single one. Well, that kind of sucks. That's a wasted turn right there. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. 
because that was really silly. Should have at least been able to move half as much as I normally would have. Jeez. Yeah, I think at this point we can probably protect some of our resources if we decided to take some back. Don't know if it's really worth the effort though. We do kind of want to move forward. Start dealing with some other units. There is a Kraken over here which we can deal with fairly effectively. Yeah, it's just a Kraken. We can take him out. No problem. It's a high level one too. And this should give us more than enough experience to get that first level. Now let's just auto resolve it. That'll deal with it quickly enough. There we go, we got some zombies up. That was actually probably the perfect amount of experience. And then from here we can... I think I'll train them up at least to skeletons. Just to be on the safe side. There's a specter up here. That'll be where we start to face undead enemies. Which are really challenging if you're playing as the undead. Of course, they've got the same problem I do. It's hard to hit me with anything substantial when most of your attacks are death-based. Really makes for an interesting fight, that's for sure. A lot of times you'll get into a stalemate where no one can attack anyone else. And then it's just a matter of patience. See who runs away first. So you can gain one experience point. Hmm. Let's scout forward a little bit. There's the Legion's capital. Guarded by demonologists. This I can deal with. So let's do that. Oh, that's right. I can't. But I should be able... No, I can't. Never mind. My Phantom Warrior died. Uh-huh. Not happy with that. I'm going to load. That should not have happened. But then again, I am kind of the retard who went into the battle forgetting that, of course, every one of their units is also immune to death-based attacks. So the only attack of mine that was working in that battle was my Phantom Warriors. But it wasn't quite enough to overcome a... a Spectre, a Skeleton, and whatever else he had. Zombie, I think. Yeah, not so nice. So instead of doing that, like an idiot, I will run back and deal with some of these legions parties. They will be easy to deal with. As will some of the mountain clans parties. Probably all of them. But I don't know if I want to break alliance just yet. I will want to soon. Kind of. Mm, might be able to do this, but won't want to risk it. Because I believe the Doom Drake does not have a death immunity. Where's the Doom Drake? Here it is. No, he doesn't, so I should be able to handle this. Yes. We're all immune to death based attacks, that's all they've got. Yeah, we should be able to do this one, no problem. As long as we kill this thing first. Bring up our phantom warrior to attack the others. We should be just fine. Except we're going to run away like an idiot because he's immune to weapon-based attacks. 
Of course. The reason I got death in the first place. Man, I am not playing smartly today at all. But that's fine, we still killed a couple units. Didn't get any experience for it, granted, but... I feel like we've accomplished something, at least. And the only way to deal with that party would be to... Cast some spells on it, I think. Or hire a Lich Queen. I think that's our only unit that has a an attack that's not death or weapon based. Yeah, that's our only unit. We do have some spells though that are water or earth based, so we could use those. If I, you know, finally get around to building that magic tower. I might not even bother with it then. It's really not worth my time. Unless it's got something nice that it will drop. Although usually parties, neutral parties, don't carry any loot. It's possible, just very, very unlikely. Someone's been hacking away at those zombies. Yeah, let's just kill this guy. Because we can. Simply. And easy does it. And there, we're finally getting some experience. It's about time. Yeah, I think we'll just train them up one more level. That way we'll have three skeletons. We can throw them into another party. Possibly with the Lich Queen. Because she would do pretty well. Preferably leveled up a bit. But she would do pretty well. Then hopefully we can deal with any undead parties between Brian and the new Lich Queen. Guess we'll find out. It'll take a while before we get to that point anyway, but... Take back this city. At least we'll have some gold then. And we should be able to heal up everything that we've taken. Yeah, definitely be able to heal up all our damage here. And then probably going to want to break alliance with the Mountain Clan soon. Start killing them off. Maybe I'll explore a bit first in their territory. Probably the better idea. Cool. Yeah, if we allow the Mountain Clans to destroy the Legion's rods everywhere, and their rod planters, and then take the cities that are nearby, we should be able to get some resources without having to hire a rod planter of our own. So hopefully we can take... Yeah, we've got this gold mine now. So if they were to take, say, this one, and then we took the city right after, we could get that gold mine. Hopefully they just destroy this because they're nice. That'd be cool. Probably not going to happen though. Sumeric. Full of decently powerful units. They would still get destroyed by my party, of course. Yeah, we're going to swing around the capital here. Check to see what's in the area and then leave and possibly break alliance still not totally sure about whether I want to do that also I just lost my city again kind of pointless taking it I guess oh well 
At least we got some extra gold for one turn. Let's see, oh, there is a dungeon over here. I'm tempted to go into it, but I'm not sure if we can handle whatever's in there. We don't have our powerful party right now. I mean, not that it's not powerful, it's just not quite enough for this, maybe? If we can take out the ice giant quickly enough, we can do it. Especially if we paralyze, that would be really nice. There we go. Now there's nothing to worry about. A little damage from a wolf isn't going to bother me. There we go. Some extra gold, thankfully. 650 too. And a potion of fortune. That should get us up to... 99%. No, not quite. It only adds an extra 8. Still, very close to 100% uh, chance to hit. So maybe if we were to level up a couple more times... I mean, if I took accuracy, it would get there no problem, but I don't want to take it because it's kind of a waste. I mean, we're hitting almost all the time anyway. Those extra couple percentage points aren't really worth it. There are better skills to take. Well, somewhat better. The last crop we got was not the best. You know, that lore master up by their capital is not moving at all. So I'm thinking that's probably some sort of really tough party, like a capital guardian almost. Mm, not that great, really. Let's check out the shop. Reduces by 15 the damage inflicted. Ooh, I don't want to spend the money though, that's right. Would be nice to have, but I need to save that. Let's see, polar bear and a brown bear. I think the polar bear does more damage. And who's at the top? Polar bear. So we'll switch them around. Brian can take the brunt of the attack. Because he can deal with it a bit more effectively. Mm, we'll kill the brown bear first. Well, try to at least. Ah, eh, forget it. Just instant resolve. And Brian actually took very little damage there. The phantom warrior took quite a bit though. Still, we got a couple potions. Get him healed up and we're ready for action once again. Not sure if I want to go to that dungeon over there. It's probably full of undead. It's very close to their territory anyway. I might check it out anyway. Getting the uh, extra gold would really be nice. I'm really glad I allied with the Mountain Clans. One less thing to worry about. But this is where we will end the episode. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.